Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 12th, okay? So this is right around the 12th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Uh, typically, these readings tend to play out for me in a couple days, a few days, you know, something like that. So, let's just see what we have. For right around the 12th. Strength reverse. So that's weak. Weak. Somebody is weak. Ten of Wands can't do it anymore. Uh, they've been trying to do too much. Uh, this is giving up. No more energy. There's weakness. There could be some illness here. Somebody's been going overboard, trying to do too much. They may be uh, trying to carry too much, carrying too much baggage, carrying too much of a load, just doing too much. There's a need to let something go. That somebody's been holding on, but they can't hold on anymore. This is freeing. It's a freeing energy. This is also a collapse of some sort. You know, this is making a conscious change to let something go. Can't and, and it's like and it could be a forced change. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, by the way. Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is hard work. Some sort of uh, putting in hard work to create something in the future. Hard work is ahead. Hangman reverse, definitely letting go of something. Somebody has been struggling. They've been trying to prove a point with both of these cards. Somebody's been trying to prove something. Doing too much. This is giving up. It is giving up. Uh, hangman reverse, struggling to let go. But now it's time. We have somebody here that has been obsessed with control. The strength card reversed and the hangman. That's a very controlling energy. Obsessed. Obsessed with control. We have somebody here that lacks respect for others perhaps. That has been enjoying the control that they have. Or somebody has been controlled by another person. Refusing to let go. It's an energy as well. There's a need to surrender and release. This is some, we have somebody here that um, I don't know, it's like they're growing weaker. They've been working really, really hard, trying really hard to make something, to prove a point, to prove something or to make something work. But I feel like there's some sort of depression or despair or illness. This is a very overwhelming feeling. This is giving up the need to hold, to, to prove, to hold on, to control a situation. It's giving up the control. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like we have somebody here that just can't hold on anymore. And it could be to a job. It could be to a relationship. They can't hold on anymore. And there is hard work ahead because this is going to be a big change. Eights are about change. And the hangman is somebody has been thinking about it for a long time, but they haven't been able to, to surrender. But I feel like now this is a surrender. It's a release. It's, it is letting go of something that has been weighing them down and holding them down and keeping them stagnant and stuck can't do it anymore. Somebody may be saying those words, I can't do this anymore. This is making a conscious change. 
Letting go. Oh. Okay. So this is forced. And it's interesting because I saw forced at the beginning. This is a forced change. This is the universe forcing a change. Okay. This comes in out of nowhere. This is a rude awakening of some sort. Let's just clear that right up. All right. So this is a rude awakening. We have somebody here that is about to, uh, I don't know, there could be an internal disruption, okay? There's, there's some sort of internal disruption or, you know, a foundation that is about to get a major uh, shake-up. Uh, explosion. It's some sort of, somebody may explode. Something or somebody may explode. This is a this is definitely a rude awakening. This is a shock. Could be an accident. This is a light being shed on a false sense of security. This is a dismantling, right? The tower is a dismantling of a... Uh, oh, my mind has gone blank. It's a dismantling of a structure, okay? There's, there's a structure here that is not healthy. And it, it's definitely not healthy. It can't withstand the pressure anymore. It feels like there's a pressure. Somebody is their pressure point is breaking, and there's about to be some. Somebody may explode, or they just may uh, things may explode. Thing there, there's probably going to be some fireworks in some way. I feel like uh, something is about to crash. There's there could be a crash of some sort. Um, hmm. Hitting the ground, hitting a building. Anyhow, um, we have a lot of ego here because the strength of the car in reverse is ego, and so isn't the hangman in reversed. We have somebody here that is is in their in their pride, in their ego. And they have been struggling to let go of something. They have been enjoying the control or they do enjoy the control that they have over others trying to prove something. We do have somebody here that is trying to prove something and they are going to cause a major disturbance of some sort. There's going to be a major disturbance. Trust me, there is. This is the universe forcing a change. This is a necessary evil. There's going to be uh, some sort of destruction or disruption that is a rude awakening. Eight of Swords reversed. Eight of Swords reversed is lies being exposed. It's realizing the lies. It's so there is this is exposure as well. There's going to be some sort of exposure. Somebody has been uh, confining themselves or restricting themselves or staying put in a situation that is not healthy. This is a very unhealthy situation. It is very unhealthy. An obstacle is about to be removed. The universe is in control. The tower is a universe card, okay? The universe is forcing somebody to break free from some sort of false sense of security. This is a necessary evil. Their light is going to be shed. There's going to be some sort of explosion or... Uh, truth that is revealed something is about to be revealed there's a dismantling of a uh, I don't know some sort of corruption it's like a hit because that lightning hits it's like I don't know some quite shock Eights again are about change. We already have two of them. So a change is definitely coming. If you think about eights, it's it's what goes around comes around. I feel like something is, somebody has done something to prove, prove something or maybe they have done something illegal or something like that. I feel like something is coming back around. The universe doesn't miss a beat. Ten of 
Ten of Wands reversed is a conscious change. It is something being let go. Can't do this. Can't carry this. This is not healthy. It's, 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 we have somebody here that isn't in a healthy foundation. They aren't in a healthy place. Either their body isn't healthy or their work isn't healthy or their home isn't healthy. We have an establishment Whether and your body is your vehicle. Okay, it is a it is a structure. So we have something here that really isn't healthy, whether it's your body or your home or your business or whatever it is. We have an we have an uh, unstable foundation that is about to crash. Put it that way. And a change will be forced. This is a forced change. We have restrictions here. Somebody has been restricting themselves. They haven't had to restrict themselves, but they've chosen to restrict themselves to a false sense of security. They've held on to it for as long as they could. Maybe because they enjoyed the power or the control that they had over the false sense of security. But I do believe that we have some sort of massive change that is about to happen. There is a lot of hard work that is ahead. There's no doubt about it. An obstacle is being removed and the obstacle, and there's been a lot of fear. There's been fear, fear of letting go, fear of maybe pride, you know, fear is ego. Okay. When you're, when you're afraid, you're scared. It's part of ego. It is. I, I see ego here. Put it that way. Somebody has been in their pride. Maybe there's fear of what everybody will say. Reverse the strength card is fear. So there is there is some sort of fear here. Fear of uh, starting with a clean slate. Fear of starting over. Fear of the work that's ahead. Fear of living. And I hate to say that. Fear of living. Fear of uh, what everybody... I think I'm talking about the current state of the world at that point. Okay. Anyhow, um, the hangman reverse is letting go. It is releasing. It is opening up. There's somebody that has been trying to prove something that is probably a lie. I mean, I hate to say that. But the eight of swords is lies. It is lies. And I think that there's some sort of exposure here. There's lies being exposed that is going to cause a major disruption and cause a change. Okay. There is a force change that is forced by the universe. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, there's a lot of hard work ahead. Somebody is... Um, we have somebody here that has been trying to prove something. I know I already said that. And they have been uh, overbearing. There's some sort of overbearing energy. Mm. Very, very controlling. Restrictive. There's res with, there is restrictions here. Strong control. Strong control. But there's mind control here as well, definite mind control. So I do believe that we have a rude awakening that is coming. Queen of Cups reversed. I think there's going to be some sort of emotional release. There's deep sadness. There's heartbreak. There's disappointment. There's uh, manipulation. There's, uh, I don't know if there's some sort of scandal here. I see freedom. I do. I see freedom. Freedom from a very controlling situation where there has been a lot of darkness and there has been a lot of falseness and there has been a lot of lies. Somebody is breaking free with that Ten of Wands from some sort of situation that isn't healthy. They stayed there for as long as they could. And I feel that the universe is pushing them out. They are... The universe is the tower card, is at work. Okay? 
The universe is at work. There's been some extreme control. When you get a card in reverse, it's an extreme, okay? And I do believe there's been a lot of restrictions. There's been lies. And I think there's been... Um, Well, a new perspective is about to be gained because something is about to be seen or shown that changes everything. Queen of Cups reversed. I feel like there's there's I feel like there's somebody here that is revengeful. This person is revengeful. They're wicked. They don't have a conscience. They have kept somebody confined and restricted with mental manipulation, maybe emotional blackmail. Right there. I feel like it's all coming to an end, okay? There's going to be a major disturbance, disruption, accident, explosion, whatever it is, uproar that forces the light, you know, it forces the truth, it, it, it opens things up. For everybody to see. There is freedom here, there's freedom from some sort of trap. Somebody has allowed themselves to be trapped in a false sense of security. And the universe is going to uh, kick them in the ass. Good luck.